Hello and welcome to a new regular series on the channel where I pick my top 5 Switch or PC games on a certain topic. If you have a top 5 list you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Episode 1 is my top 5 truck simulation games on the Nintendo Switch, so let's get this load secured and get the list delivered. First up is Truck Sim USA from Ovilex, a simulator, and I use that term loosely, that promises so much in its eShop listing, but like its glitchy trucks, delivers so little in terms of gameplay. From its clunky mobile phone inspired menus to its poorly detailed environments, driving on grass and dirt feel no different to tarmac which gives you little incentive to drive carefully, although red lights and speed traps are a nice inclusion. Getting around can be troublesome with a poorly implemented map and you can't even zoom or pan and for bonus negative points you can't even tell if you're in forward or reverse gear. I did have a good laugh playing this one on my initial video I made for the channel but really avoid this one at all costs. Next up is a game on a similarly poor level to Truck Sim USA and that is Truck Simulator from Boom Bit Games. It's a hair's breadth that separates the awfulness in these two games, but Truck Simulator just pips a place higher than its USA counterpart by virtue of its gameplay being mercifully shorter chunks you can at least take an escape from. Truck Simulator isn't a traditional sort of pick a job, hitch a truck and drive across country type of game, it's more of a mobile phone quick play for two minutes kind of game. In this game you're tasked with completing short driving skill based missions such as weaving around cones in the fastest time or picking up a load and parking it up to 10 feet away. All of this hijinks award you a medal and gold coins to unlock new vehicles with a new set of banal missions. Given its score based nature this one could hold your attention for 5 minutes if you find it for a dollar but my advice is to park this one and forget about it. Coming in third is a game with a name as dry as a cracker sandwich and that's Truck and Logistics Simulator from Aerosoft. Whilst it may sound bland, this game actually offers up some half decent gameplay with probably the most unique factor being that you have to actually load your own trucks either using forklifts or dumper trucks before you take a job on. I enjoy this little addition for sure. Overall the gameplay is a usual pick a job, pick up a load and deliver it across the map but at least there's a nice variety of jobs to do here and the map is well laid out with decent navigation. There's also a wealth of vehicle here from cars to sprinter vans all the way up to heavy rigs and even a monster truck. The developers have dropped a large update to the PC version this year too which improves all areas of the game massively but whilst they've hinted it will come to the Switch there's been no sign of it as of the recording of this video. Even in this form though, if you can find it on a bit of a sale or even a cheap physical version, then there's enough value here to have some fun with. Second place is a really respectable port of Truck Driver from Sedesco. This title is the closest thing to Euro Truck Simulator you're going to get on a console, albeit still coming up short on features and customization like that PC Classic. Truck Driver takes the well-worn formula of collect and deliver jobs across the fictional map that actually has many interesting areas to explore. Jobs start off small and allow you to build up not only funds to buy better trucks, but Truck Driver also has an XP system of sorts, which as you play allows you to unlock what the game calls passives, which are basically perks to help with your career. These range from earning more money on jobs to making it less likely that you need to take rest breaks. Performance wise, Sedesco have done a great job. And whilst not the best looking game on a Switch, it can have its moments during the day-night cycles, but the frame rate is where it really impresses for a game such as this, keeping a pretty consistent 30 frames a second for the majority of the game. With plenty of post-launch support, including a huge new DLC coming up in September, it's a game that you can tell the devs are really passionate about, and it gets a big thumbs up from me. Now if Truck Driver is the closest to a traditional truck simulator that you're going to get on the Switch, then forgive my indulgence with the number one spot which is probably at the opposite end of what Euro Truck Sim does, and that is the excellent SnowRunner from Focus Home Interactive. I would probably also bundle first place here with MudRunner on the Switch from the same developers, but SnowRunner takes what was an excellent port already and improves it in every area. Again, gameplay is very much pick up and deliver, but the delivery aspect takes place across huge sprawling maps broken into multiple large areas and features some of the worst terrain you could hope to drive a heavy vehicle across. Thick mud, deep streams, snow and ice are just some of the challenges that await you as you travel across this almost open world game, making your deliveries, completing challenges and unlocking secrets and new vehicles. 
The port of SnowRunner to the Switch really is excellent all things considered, with some decent frame rates and great looking visuals, plus DLC and multiplayer support. One slight negative worth highlighting is that it is a slower pace and it does have the tendency to bring up really frustrating sections that get you stuck and are a real challenge to pass, but it really is the shining star of truck based games and in my opinion anyone that loves simulations this is a must buy on the Switch.